Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Sher. I am so happy to have you here. For today's video, we are going to be looking at the June Tribe Beauty Box. Woo! Um, except I know it's not June anymore. I know it's July. I know I'm behind. It's fine. It's fine. I'll explain in a moment. It's a great story. Uh, actually, it's okay. It's an okay story. But if you want to listen to it, stick around. Let me explain a little bit about Tribe Beauty Box before we get into that nitty gritty details, yeah? Tribe Beauty Box is a female owned company, which is awesome. I love that. And basically what it is, is a bi-monthly subscription service. So instead of getting it every month, it's every second month, which it arrives at your door. Inside each box is five full size products, which is amazing. They focus on sending out indie brands, as well as female owned businesses, brands, and sometimes well-known brands that you've probably heard of before, which is really cool. So I really enjoy that. The box itself is 35 USD dollars, which equals about uh, 50 AUD. Um, so it is a little bit more on that expensive side, but because it's bi-monthly, it makes it a lot more affordable and you're getting your money's worth because the five products in total usually equal over a hundred dollars in USD, which is probably closer to 150 AUD. I don't know. I haven't calculated it. I'll tell you at the end how much this June box is worth and I'll tell you in USD and also AUD so you can kind of get a little bit more of an understanding. I think most of my followers are American anyway which is cool. I'm getting off topic now. I'll leave some more information about shipping and things like that down in the description bar as well. So you can kind of get a little bit more information. So last month I became an ambassador for Tribe Beauty Box, which is awesome. So I did pay for my box, um, but I also am able to give you guys a code and it's just sure. And also an affiliate link down below if you wanted to shop through my link that's awesome and I believe it gives you guys 10% off but it also gives me a little bit of commission as well so if you would like to use that feel free to do so otherwise please do not feel obligated why am I uploading my video in July instead of June I became an ambassador for the brand and got my account linked and everything on the 9th of June. So I think it was like a little bit late. And then I got an email saying my box had shipped out on the 18th of June. So that's mid June. And then I received another email saying my box had shipped out on the 22nd. So I think what happened was I actually had a, a processing order on the 18th and then it actually shipped out on the 22nd, but they weren't really clear about it. Anyway, the shipping to Australia just took so long that I didn't get my box until the 8th of June, which was last week, but I was away that whole week, so I didn't have my box because I was gone. I was doing my own thing. I was at a, a teen camp. It was awesome. I'll have to chat to you more about that in another video, but so it's mid-July um, when I'm finally actually even opening up my box, so... That's why it's late. Sorry, not much I can do about it, but it's here. It's all that matters. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's my story. I hope that next month it gets shipped a little bit earlier because otherwise I'm gonna be almost a month behind every video. But I'll see, I'll find out next month how it kind of goes and how the shipping is for Australians. We'll see. Anyway, so let's open this up. Try Beauty Box. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like on the inside. It has a little sheet of paper, which kind of gives you a brief rundown of the products inside the box and how much they cost. So let's go in the order that it's given me. Okay, so the first product is from Wanda Beauty, and this is a dive-in moisturizer valued at $36. And I've never heard of Wanda Beauty before. And this is what it looks like. This packaging is really cute. Really like that. Um, and basically it's just a really hydrating moisturizer. It says it's non-greasy, which is awesome. I'm just gonna pop some on the back of my hand and let's see what this feels like. It has a, it's 
a really nice smell. I just got some on my nose, which is going to take off my makeup. Good job. But it smells nice. And I'm just going to rub it in. I'll just rub some in. It's very, it is very lightweight. Like it's not heavy at all. It's really smooth. It has a really nice soft scent. So the smell does go away after you rub it in. But it's really nice. It's kind of close to, it's not rose, but it's very floral. The next product is this IBY City Limits palette. Not heard of IBY either, so I'm super keen. Um, I cannot wait to try this. I cannot get inside this packet. I'm really struggling. I don't know. <laughs> I think because my hands are greasy from the moisturizer, I can't get in. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the City Limits palette, and this is valued at $20. And it looks like this, it's kind of more neutral by the looks of it. It's really pretty. Let me just swatch a couple of these shades. Um, I just swatched it on the back of my hand, which I just moisturized, which was very silly, but I just wanted to show you guys. So that's a, just a shimmer and a matte from the palette. I am gonna use it on my eyes. So if you stay tuned to the end of the video, we'll do a little try out of this palette. I'm super keen to see what it looks like on the eyes. Some of these colors look really nice. Next is from LA Splash, and I've heard of LA Splash, but I've never tried any of their products. And this is a Sinfully Angelic Diamond Lip Gloss, and this is number 14805 Cassiel. Is that right? Let me open this up. Let's have a look inside, shall we? This packaging is beautiful. I really like this. It's this is valued at $18. I love doe foot applicators that look like this. Hang on. They're like a triangle, but they've got like a hole in the middle, which holds product. I really enjoy it. Oh, this is pigmented. So it's more of a pigmented lip gloss by the looks of it, rather than a sheer gloss. And it's a beautiful pink color it's beautiful i can't wait to try that next is dr botanicals this is vegan friendly which is cool and it's a moroccan rose superfood facial oil valued at 26 dollars this is what it looks like just out of the packaging it's just got a a dropper which is awesome this smells really nice normally um facial oils don't smell that great I'm just going to do a couple drops on the back of my hand to see what that feels like. That is going to be super hydrating. Um, it's a very lightweight oil. That is really nice. I think I'm going to love this a lot. And it kind of just melts in. It's really nice. It just gives your skin a really nice glow. It's not super greasy, which is great. I think if you're someone with oily skin that this one might be an option for you. I'm going to try out the skincare products and see how they go over time. Because honestly, I can't give you a first impression. I mean, I can't give you a review because I'm not even going to try it properly today. And the last thing in the box is from Crown Brushes. And this is a rose gold eye set, but I it's not rose gold, so I don't know if they've popped the wrong thing in here. That's okay. This is $19. Um, Crown Brushes is kind of like the Australian equivalent of Morphe, just so you know. So um, just more affordable brushes, basically. It's kind of a little bit of a random set, um, but this is supposed to be like for your eyebrows and lashes, and then you've got your big shader brush, mini shader, and then also um, this one's kind of just like good for powder and concealer, things like that. I probably won't be using these. I might give them to my mum. I feel like she could get a little bit more use out of them because I've already got the kind of brushes I want, and I've got some new ones coming soon. 
Um, I'll tell you more about that in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. But anyway, without further ado, that's kind of what's in the box. Let me do a quick calculation of how much that comes to. The Dive-In Moisturizer, 36, which is more than the box itself, just straight off the bat. City Limits Palette, $20, Lip Gloss, $18, the Facial Oil was $26, and the Brush Set was $19. So that equals $114.95. So that whole box equals $114 USD, which equals about $163.70 AUD which is really good value for money so that is awesome anyway let's dig into trying out this city limits palette from IBY beauty and I also want to pop on this LA splash lip gloss so let's have a look let's see if we can keep this more on the pinky side of things okay I think I'm gonna just pop some concealer on my eyelids also I tried out a new brow technique I I um I got Chloe Morello's brow kit thing from Benefit and I watched her video on how she's done like more fluffier brows and I thought I would give it a go so these brows are a little bit thicker than I would normally do them and I don't know how I feel about it what do you guys think do you like them think it's weird okay so let's do something a little bit more pink tone so I'm gonna go in with this first shade called a VIP so this one right here that is really pigmented straight off the back there's a lot of product wow a lot of product came up on the brush which is awesome I'm not going to do a proper cut crease today. I just don't want to. I'm just going to lay down this color in the crease. And then actually, let me bring you a little bit closer. It's as close as I can get you for now. I'm just taking another clean blending brush and I'm just going to go around the edges of the color i've already laid down just to kind of blend it out a little bit this um color actually has some shimmer in it but it seems to flick off when you blend it into the eye which is really cool because then it can be used as a matte as well which i really appreciate being able to do that it's such a beautiful shade I haven't done makeup for a whole week I feel a little bit out of sorts what am I doing how do I even do this again And you'd think without doing any makeup for a whole week, your skin would be fabulous, but it's not. It's not fabulous. The cold winter air in Australia is just drying out my skin. It looks atrocious. You can't tell. I'm going to try going in with this shade, Silent Disco, because it looks like it's a little bit darker. I don't know that it is. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit darker, but not something like significant. It's like a shade darker. It's not super significant and then it's really dark, but that's okay. It's really quite pigmented, this um, palette. I'm super impressed. I'm really wary about affordable palettes, hey, which sounds really stupid, but after my experience with Morphe, I just can't really trust anything else. Okay. Let's 
Let's go in with this really purpley pink magenta sort of shade drop base. And let's put that on the lid. It's a really nice shimmer. Let's see if I can get a little bit more bang with Fix Plus. Oh yeah, Fix Plus is definitely the way to go. Let's do blue on the lower lash line for a bit of pizzazz. Whoa, that is pigmented. I don't know if I've done any eyeshadow looks of blue on the bottom yet. We used to do this all the time. And the last shade I'm going to use is this really shimmery gold at the top. It's like a champagne gold. Classic inner corner highlight that is stunning, super intense, really beautiful. Really just brightens up the inner corner, doesn't it? Wow, that is really nice. Really like that color. All right, let's put some mascara and lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I popped some blue eyeliner on as well as putting lashes and mascara on. I feel a little bit more... <sighs> that put me out of breath. I feel a little bit more myself right now. Let's try the LA Splash Cosmetics lip gloss as well. This is really thick and very pigmented. Look at that. The formula of this LA Splash lip gloss reminds me so much of Rimmel's Apocalypse lipsticks. They are just very pigmented, glossy, Feels like they'll stay on for quite a bit of time. Um, super hydrating and only a little sticky, not like an unbearable sticky, which is really nice. Wouldn't recommend wearing these on a windy day though. So I quite like that. I think it's really pretty. Pretty good value for $35 USD. Anyway, that wraps up this Tribe Beauty Box unboxing and try on. I think that it was a pretty good box. I really think I will like this eyeshadow palette as like an everyday kind of palette. And I have lipstick all over my teeth. Yes, anyway, I was saying, I think I'll enjoy having that palette as an everyday kind of like on the go palette if I don't have time. And then this lip gloss is probably gonna be one of my favorites because I really like a pigmented gloss. Sometimes I can't be bothered going in with a lipstick and then a gloss on top. I like when it's a two in one. So I think I really am going to enjoy this. The other products, the moisturizer and the oil, I will have to give a thorough try out because you never know how skincare is gonna be unless you use it for a little bit. And then the crown brushes, they're okay. I'll give them to my mom. I won't use them. So yeah, that's it. All done. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Stay tuned for my next one and stick around. Have a lovely day. Bye.